Happy Easter! The Lord is risen, and we all say the Lord is risen indeed. And here I am sat with my Easter bonnet on, uh, my little chicks in the bonnet reminding us of the new life that we have in Jesus. Well, today we have got a celebration that our Lord rose from the dead. He conquered sin, he conquered death itself. I'm going to read a short poem by Pat Marsh, and it's called Discovery. And it's based on the very first disciples who went to the tomb that early Easter morning. The poem is based on John chapter 20, verses 2 to 9. We dropped everything and ran like the wind, raced to the tomb, hearts pumping, adrenaline rushing, lungs heaving. We ran like two men possessed. We had no idea what we might find. It was hard to make sense of the women. They were flushed, exhausted, hysterical. Their story seemed incoherent. Something about his body being stolen, the stone that sealed the tomb, removed. I was praying as I ran. Please, God, not more trouble. Not after the last few days. Please let them be wrong. Fear, anticipation, question all bouncing around in my head. Legs feeling like lead, my breath getting harder to catch. What on earth was happening? John got there first. He'd always been fitter than me, and by the time I caught up, he was bending down in the entrance. Well, I said. No answer. His only response, a long, steady stare. So I took a deep breath, inhaled a lung full of courage, and went inside. And I kid you not, all that remained in that granite slab were the neatly folded piles of linen no Jesus, no signs of any struggle, just a complete absence of the body we had wrapped in the shroud. And the peace of the place was tangible. Slowly, like a dawn rising to wake a new day, I thought I understood, though it seemed the most far-fetched thought I'd ever had. But maybe. Then John followed me in and saw and believed. Blessed are those who believe and have not seen. I'm going to finish this short uh, reflection with an Easter Sunday prayer. The words of Psalm 118 verse 24 say this, This is the day the Lord's victory. Let us be happy, let us celebrate. So we pray. Lord, we celebrate today not only that you rose from the dead, but that you are our living Lord. We praise you for the empty tomb. We celebrate your victory over life and death. We call you friend and brother. And we name you our Saviour and King. But today we declare that you are our Lord. We come with our hymns of worship, our prayers of praise. We come to give you the honour, the thanks and the glory you deserve. We pray that the power that raised Christ from the dead will transform our lives, our witness and our worship for the glory of your name. Amen. Have a most blessed and wonderful Easter day. Amen. Hello everybody, it's Easter and I'm really excited. Me too, me too! Everyone makes such a big fuss about Christmas, but Easter is just as important. That's right. I can't wait till he comes. Till who comes? The Easter Bunny, of course! The Easter Bunny? Yeah, you know, long ears, wuffly nose, blanky whiskers and a cute little bobtail. And... Easter eggs! It's what Easter's all about. The Easter Bunny and Easter eggs are a lot of fun, but there's more to Easter than chocolate. Did I hear you mention chocolate? Yes, but... Oh, mm, chocolate. Chocolate bunnies, chocolate lollies, chocolate chicks, chocolate but everything. Mm. Okay, we get the idea. You like chocolate. There's something else I like about Easter too. Oh, and what's that? Hot cross buns. And they come with chocolate too nowadays in them. 
and currants and raisins. I've been told that cockcross buns remind us of something. Have you? What do they remind us of? Well, they remind me of the Easter Bunny. You know, all those currants look like rabbit. Don't say it, we don't want to know. Okay, I won't say rabbit poo. Anyway, it's been nice talking to you, but I gotta go. Just a minute, what do you mean we haven't said what Easter is really about? Yes, we have. The Easter Bunny, eggs, chocolate and hot cross buns. I can't think of anything else. But you're forgetting the most important thing of all. What's that? Love. Easter's all about love. Love? That's soppy. Easter's all about God's love. God's love isn't soppy. God's love is the strongest force in the universe. It's more powerful than life and death and lasts forever and ever. But what has God's love got to do with Easter? Everything! Easter's when we remember God's Son, Jesus, died on the cross and came to life again three days later. Oh, I remember. Someone told me that once. They said Jesus didn't deserve to die because he hadn't done anything wrong. So why did they let them kill him? Kill them? Love. Oh, I don't understand. The answer is in God's Word, the Bible. The Bible says that God's, God loved the world and everybody in it so much. Everyone? Even me? Oh my goodness. Even when I'm in a bad mood or naughty? Yes, everyone. All the time. Even when you think you don't deserve it. Anyway, God loved the world so much sent his only son. His son was Jesus, right? That's right, that's right. Or, anyway, Father, God sent Jesus so that everybody who believes in him will have eternal life. That means they can live forever in heaven. Sounds cool. Yes, but that's not all. God can also help you have a good and happy life. And he's always there when you need him because he cares about you. Wow! Oh, it's like when Jesus died, he made a way for me to get to know God. And right now, in this world with everything going on, and we're all stuck in our homes, and people are sad and tired and frightened and anxious and worried, we need that message more than ever. That's right, and that's why Easter is so important. Well... Easter just got better. What do you mean? Now I know what Easter's really about and it makes me happy to know God loves me so much. The Easter bunny, Easter eggs, chocolate, hot cross buns. But the best of all, God loves, loves us all. <laughs> happy Easter everyone. <laughs> Happy Easter, everyone! And a happy Easter from me! Happy Easter, everybody! <laughs> <laughs>